Hello fellow game collectors. This is my birthday and Christmas pickups and a few other things I picked up here and there that I've, I've purchased and wasn't gifted to me. Uh, so there's a lot of good things here on the table. Um, so first and foremost, let's see, we'll start with that Sega Trifecta back there, the 32X Sega CD and Sega Genesis. Um, that was a present from my girlfriend for my birthday. She knew that I was wanting a Sega CD and 32X very much. Um, I already had a Genesis, but I'm very happy to have the whole trifecta there. Then, uh, in case you hadn't heard about the craze with Cubic Ninja, I uh, picked up a copy of that at the local Kmart for, I think it was about... 10 maybe 15 dollars uh in case you're not aware uh cubic ninja went up skyrocketed up in price because of um it has a uh like a firmware vulnerability so people were able to um hack into the 3ds software and be able to run emulators i tried it out um it you know it there's not a lot to see there you know it's pretty neat I'm interested in that kind of stuff. I've, I've picked up um, similar things for uh, the DS. Um, then I got uh, for 3DS the Atrhythm uh, Final Fantasy Curtain Call. I have the first one already, uh, which is really good. Um, this was a, a Christmas present to me. Uh, then I got a couple of Zelda games here uh, that surprisingly I never picked up when they when they came out. Um, Zelda Spirit Tracks and uh, Zelda Minish Cup. I've never played either one of them. Um, I got those at a Black Friday sale at my local um, local game store. Uh, another Black Friday sale, uh, Shadow of Mordor. Otherwise, I really wouldn't show you this. But I paid, I think it was twenty dollars on Amazon. Um, it's a pretty good deal for Black Friday. Uh, I picked up this copy of Doom 3 from one of my co-workers who was who's, um, getting rid of his 360. This is the only game he had that I didn't have, so I went and picked it up. Um, and I believe it also has Doom 1 and Doom 2 on it. I hadn't got to check it out yet. Then for GameCube, I picked up Star Fox Adventures. Uh, this is about, I think this was about fair market value. I got that at Edward McKay. Uh, <laughs> I'm... Finally, increasing my Mario Party collection. Um, I have one through three on N64, and I've had eight on the Wii. So now I'm only missing seven. Uh, so four I got for my birthday. Uh, five and six I paid about fair market value, uh, as well as nine. Nine I got for fair market value. Um, they're all pretty good. Nine's very different from the rest of the games because it puts you puts everyone in a cart together. Um, so we'll go over here um, with this uh, Sega CD Genesis 32X slot. My girlfriend got me uh, Star Wars Rebel Assault for Sega CD, which is a pretty difficult game if you've never played it before, um, as well as Dragon's Lair, uh, which is a game I already have, um, but it's it's pretty challenging um, unless you know what moves to execute during uh, certain specific scenes. Um, and then Mortal Kombat 2 for 32X, uh, yeah, I've, I've played Mortal Kombat 2 before, 32X version seems to be pretty good, pretty solid, um, although I found it pretty challenging, I don't know if it's just I haven't played Mortal Kombat in a while, or what, but the computer kept kicking my butt, uh, then I got, um, Mario is Missing for, uh, Super Nintendo, um, it's, um, I've never played it before. Um, I, I've heard mixed things about it. Um, it it's not your typical Super Mario game. Um, as well, for my birthday, I received a copy of Zelda Majora's Mask, fantastic N64 game. Then um, these NES games um, I bought from one of my friends. Um, they're duplicates, he, he didn't want them, so I picked them up from him, uh, all four of them for $15. Um, you have Wood and Water Rage, which is a really challenging game. 
Um, unless you know how the controls work, you will be very frustrated with this game. Um, Wrath of the Black Manta, uh, your typical 2D side-scrolling um, adventure game or whatever you call that genre. Uh, same as Rambo. Um, and Stealth, if, you, if you've played um, Top Gun, it, it's kind of similar. Except uh, the flying around is a bit more in an open space. Um, then I have these lot of N64 games. Um, all of them I receive for my birthday or Christmas, with the exception of Worms Armageddon. So Worms Armageddon is, I believe, it's um, probably the most expensive N64 game aside from uh, Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut which I don't have. Um, so I actually bought this one fair market value, um, but I didn't pay the current price of fair market value. Um, I bought it from Edward McKay. Uh, that go, the game itself goes for 100 I paid 75 And it's, it's in fantastic, amazing condition. Um, it had a sticker on the back that I was able to remove, but it did it did tear it a little bit in that corner, but aside from that, it, it looks pristine. Um, I'm never going to find it at a yard sale, and I'm wanting to complete my N64 collection, so I was decided to go ahead and pick it up. Um, so then we have World Driver Championship, uh, just your typical racing game on N64. Um, you have Xena, uh, which is an interesting... 3D battle arena kind of game. Um, moves are a bit repetitive, but um, it has a four-player mode I haven't got to try. But I've heard it's you know it's pretty decent if you just want to have a a quick to learn party fighting game. Uh, then I have Duke Nukem Zero Hour, which is a third-person perspective Duke Nukem game. I love Duke Nukem, but I've never played this one before, so I don't really know. Um, how well it is. Con controls are a little, a little interesting to get used to. Uh, then we have Hey You Pikachu, uh, which unfortunately I don't have the mic yet. I, I can pick up an adapter for that for I think about five dollars at the local game store. Um, Star Soldier. Uh, if you like vertical scrolling shoot 'em ups, this is a pretty good one. Um, I, I played it for a little bit and I was pretty impressed. And I've heard good things about it. Uh, Top Gear Rally is a another racing game, but has a little bit more focus on physics. The handling in it is pretty hard, but you can play multiple um, weather modes. So you can drive in the fog or rain or even snow, and that can affect your handling a little bit. Uh, then we have the original Quake. Um, pretty much like the PC version. Um, and I really like this one. I've never heard of this one before, but it's uh, Fighter's Destiny. Um, pretty neat little 2D, well, I guess it's technically a 3D um, fighting game, but your fighters don't have hit points, they don't have health bars. Instead, um, you have to get so many points to win uh, the match against the person, and you get points by uh, knocking them out of the arena, or actually knocking them out, or doing a takedown on them, or a special move. Very different um, from most fighter games I've played, which isn't many. Uh, the new Tetris, um, if you like Tetris, you'll probably like this. Uh, nothing too fancy about it. Uh, you can, I believe you can do multiplayer, and it's just it's your typical. 2D Tetris game just with some graphics on the screen. Um, the only thing I didn't like about it, because um, I'm a big Tetris nut, but whenever you're um, landing a piece, you can't keep spinning it to try and fit it somewhere. It'll it'll stick to the board pretty quickly. But other than that, I, I liked it pretty much. Um, Hexen, um, again another port from the PC uh, from a PC game. And then we have uh, Forsaken 64, which is like a uh, 3D space game, um, kind of like Descent maybe, I, I don't know how else to describe it. 
Um, I've heard it's very unforgiving with saves and lives, continues, stuff like that. And it was also ridiculous how many uh, splash screens this game had before you get to it. I swear it had about six splash screens before you could even start playing the game. But um, just just from my demo of it, it you know it, it plays pretty well. But I haven't engaged it enough to really to really have a full opinion on that. So um, again, uh, these are all, all of my pickups from uh, my birthday, which is very close to Christmas, and um, Christmas and a couple Black Friday things uh, sales, and um, uh, you know a couple trades and whatever. Um, it, it's been a pretty dry season here um, since since yard sales are over. I really haven't found much on Craigslist or Facebook. So unfortunately I've been kind of paying fair market value, but I've been a bit picky, you know, I, like I really wanted the Mario Party games because my girlfriend and I love playing them together. Um, and I also for my birthday, which you may have noticed, I've got a LED light attached to my camera. Uh, so hopefully my videos will look a little bit better, uh, not too dark, and that's about all I can think of right now. So thanks guys for watching, um, I'll catch you next time, be sure to like, comment, or subscribe.